back to another video where today we're in the Smiling Critters RP and yes, they've had a mahoosive update as of recent where Catnap's house has changed, Dog Day's house has had some tweaks, we've got ourselves a message to decode and there is a Catnap version 2 with like a gazillion different expressions which is so awesome to see and you have to unlock it because the original way to unlock Catnap has disappeared. Now, I can see we've got ourselves Sonic Doll, Quackers, and Galaxy helping us today to try and find these pieces and show them off, as well as a whole bunch of people below us down here waiting for us to start running around. So without further ado, let's go and unlock the new catnap. Now, for this, I have gone up to... Oh, I say that. I need to go to Catnap's house. I know this is the first place we need to check out to start this little quest and it doesn't take too long, which is a bit of a blessing because from what I've seen with this new version of Catnap, the expressions are pretty awesome. And I've just realized I am too big to get through the door. But now we have reset ourselves. We can head up the stairs just like so. And already I can see a huge difference. So this floor has not got the sofa across here anymore because this used to be a little cutout and quite a small room. I think they've actually made it a bit bigger. We have another floor or another floor to head up to, which should have the item we need to start this quest. So if I head on up, just like so, and we should see Catnap chilling on Catnap's bed. And it does say, place the toy fish. So if we go over to this and interact with it, you will see it says, hey, if you were reading this, could you perhaps find my toy plush? Please set it on my bed if you do find it. I don't know where I last had it, but I do know I usually put it where I sleep. That's where you will find it. Okay, okay, so where we sleep. Well, typically that would be the bed, right? So this here is where I would assume it is, but I'm gonna just say I don't see any kind of fishy toy plushy thing kind of chilling out here, so it's got to be somewhere else. Ouse. Uh, by that, Quacks is saying we're fish. So if we head out of, well, Catnap's house, and the only other place I can think of, it's going to be either a Dog Day's house or it will be uh, somewhere else on the map, which actually thinking about it, if I go to teleport, we have got the camping zone and there's plenty of tents and places where you can sleep. So maybe, maybe it could be there. But I've just noticed as I've turned up here, we have got ourselves a Smiley Critters RP rules and uh, basically keep it respectful, keep it appropriate, and don't troll. I mean, I don't really troll in this game. I allow people to try and win some coins, but unless you're like this guy here demanding coins, yeah, I, I give you an opportunity to win it with doing some fun games. So if we head into Dog Day's house, oh, okay, well, if we head over to the camp then, we should be, oh, literally, literally, look at this. This thing is huge. Yes! So if I pick this up, and, uh, oh, that's so cool. Look at this. It's a massive plushy fish. I love the detail they put into it. Like, you see the stitching around the edge? That's a really nice touch. But it does mean we need to go and return this back to Catnap's house. Just simply so, we unlock the new version of Catnap, which is pretty cool in itself. Just the fact we get to unlock this new version, which has had such a major redo. The biggest obvious thing I noticed was the fact it had some eyebrows. Now, you're going to say, who cares about eyebrows on Catnap? But honestly... It's really something. It makes all the expressions and other things you can do with it uh, really, really, really cool. And the update is a really nice touch just while we're waiting for that massive update that's about to come out. So let's place this on the bed. And as you can see, we've unlocked the new cartoon catnap. And yes, it has eyebrows. Look at this. And it's got actions so we can lay down. Oh, that's so adorable. Look at this thing. Oh, it looks like a cat that's so tired. I absolutely love this. That is the best pose ever. Now, obviously, we can do that. We can also sit down as well. Oh, it doesn't let you move. But look at this. Oh, he's just so happy. I can't believe it. So we've got the ability to lay down and sit. I don't know if the other cartoon characters have this as well. Because if they do, that's actually pretty awesome. If I say so myself, I think that's actually pretty cool. Now, what I will say is I have the ability to do the rake smoke, which is... Not necessarily a new thing. I think they've released this in like a more recent update. And like Galaxy's done here, he can pose different facial expressions and quackers as well. I can see he's got the scared one. So if I click on face, we have got 10 different face expressions to check out. So we've got the kind of 
I'm gonna be trying to oof you with the uh, red mist version. You got an angry face. Oh, that's amazing. Look, the ears go back and everything. Oh, I like that a lot. Look, you can tell he's angry. Ah, oh, this is great. Although I hope he's not angry at me. And then we've got ourselves the not Bruh. impressed look. Okay, so it changes between the kind of uh, I want to kill you look. I don't know what else to call it. And the one with the full tongue and everything and the eyes are back to normal. But look, he does not look impressed at all. Does he, Galaxy? No! No, he doesn't. Not at all. Exactly. Now, I can see we've got some others, which is the super happy. The eyes are closed. That's pretty cool. And then likewise, that is that. And then we've got the... Oh, the ears. Look at the ears. It's so adorable. This is so cool. So the ears fold back. And he looks like he's really, really upset. Which, uh, yeah, he probably is upset. And then we got the super duper happy face. Look at this. Even Galaxy super happy quack is just trying to just smoke everyone out. So the next one is like, I suppose that could be scared. Is that what we're going with? Is that the scared one? I think it is. Honestly, I think that's actually pretty cool. And then we've got ourselves the ultra scared. Oh, I like this one. This is like the, huh? This is amazing. Look at this face. Uh, okay, so obviously we have the ability to lay down. Uh oh, strangely, with the faces as well. That makes this a little bit creepy. I mean, it's not as adorable as that. Look at this. So this is a new version of Catnap. To unlock him, we've just gone through, as you've seen. But we have got an exciting update, which is to do with the update we're expecting to see very, very shortly. And to do this, we need to find something to decrypt. And as you can see here, I have a hint from the devs to say, basically, it's in between trees. Yeah, that's really helpful. Guys, have you seen any trees in this game? If you haven't, let me just enlighten you very quickly because, uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's genuinely quite a lot. So if I head into the sky, you will see that there are trees literally everywhere. They're like literally everywhere. Trees are just so the eyes can see. So if I head back and be my normal self, what we'll do is to go and head out to try and find this item. They didn't really tell me what it is we're looking for, but I did find something inside Dog Day's house, which if we go through the door and you go up to here where you've got an alien translation book by Bubba the Bubbafant. So if we click on this, this is what is revealed. Now, obviously there's a lot of funky shapes and they translate to letters that we can understand, so, I have a feeling we're going to be looking for a note or a message of some kind. And once we find that, we're going to have fun to try and translate it to see what we get. So, Quags is saying it's the Minecraft enchant table. He actually has a point. They look very, very similar. But I don't think they're going to have that in this game. Nah, I don't think it will be. I think, honestly, we just need to go and find where this kind of item is. And literally... They say it's in between trees. Now, I've already shown you how many trees are in this game. And uh, honestly, it's going to take us a really long time. So instead of wasting your time, I'm going to go find it. And uh, I'll catch you back in two seconds. The word I've been running around like a crazy cat. I've been told by Galaxy that he has potentially found it. And to meet him at the slides. So the slides are literally just up here. So obviously, Dog Day's house is down there. You run up the hill. And you find the slides here, and Galaxy is the version 2 catnap, which looks super adorable, especially when it's running. Look at this, it's on all four paws. Ah, oh, that's so cool. And he's saying to follow him to find this potential item. And it looks like Quackers is sat here protecting it with such an angry face. It's actually kind of adorable. But um, what is he hiding? It looks like it's a rock with an alien kind of note on it. So if we click on this and oh my goodness, what can this even translate to? So I think the easiest thing to do, guys, is to maybe let me work this out and I'll get back to you and share what this message says. So while looking at this, Galaxy has somehow already gone ahead and translated it. And what we can see is it says entry report number four. A small accident happened when we left Earth. Our core disappeared. We must find it as soon as possible. And down here is the biggest secret of the whole thing of this update, which is it's signed by Marvi. Now, this character, I do believe, is to be this one that I'm going to show you on the screen, which is only a leak we've had. And I don't even know what kind of creature it is. Guys, if you know what creature it is, it's meant to be, let me know in the comments below. But, and I say but, 
I'm pretty sure we did see a picture in the Discord server, and I can't find it, but if I do, I will hey, post yo. it here for you guys to look at and see what we're potentially seeing in the next update. And with that being said, that is all of the updated stuff in this game. So we've got can version 2, and we have The Secret, which is an update release, which is so awesome. So the last thing I want to do at the end of this video is I'm going to play a little game of hide and seek for people to win the coins. So as you can see, we've got a few people who are wanting to play the hide and seek game to win some coins. So let's make this interesting and go and hide. So to make my life a bit easier and so they can't follow me, I'm going to go and fly into the sky and then uh, try and find a good spot. And then I'll be back with you guys in a second. Although saying that, I think a nice spot would be over here because it's not too difficult to find me. But it still requires that they have to get somewhere, uh, you know, travel a little bit to actually try and find me. And plus, we can keep an eye on them from over there. So I'm going to be here and let's get it underway. So I've told them that we're underway and to find me. You can see the shadows of people trying to run around. And uh, Quack has clearly run up to me. He's clearly followed me. But as he's in the video, he knows where I'm hiding. But I can see the galaxy is now traveling up the stairs. I wonder if anyone else will find us. I mean... Bloody Quackers, you're just good at hide and seek. That must be it. If you didn't see where I went, you're just good at the game. But I want to make it fair. So Galaxy and Quackers has already found me. Uh, that was pretty quick. I'll be honest. I'm just waiting for maybe a stranger that isn't part. I can see, look at this. The little blue is jumping up. And someone else is going to get here. Who is going to find me first? Who is this person here? Okay, so we found ourselves a winner. This is so cool. Okay, so what we're going to do is find this person's name. And just like that, as you can see, that is him. And he's won the 40,000 play coins. Fair play to him. He's literally won the game. Now, guys, if you want to participate in a little game like this in the next video, just remember to keep an eye on the channel. And if you see me on a game, definitely come and join him because you have the possibility to win quite a lot of coins which can help you unlock some new morphs but if you enjoyed the video remember to hit the like button subscribe if you've done so many it's super appreciated and we will catch you in the next video remember to boot the snoop